old guy here. Uh, a lot of you have figured out by now that there's not a lot of production values on this channel. I mean, I'm not captain movie editor or special effects guy and you know I'm shooting this on my Galaxy S9 up in uh, my writing room and uh, you know probably needs a little cleaning up and organizing back there and the only way I can differentiate videos for you is you know switch hats from time to time. Go Eagles! Anyway, today's book is Trieste by I'm really gonna screw this name up Dasa Derndick. That's probably the closest I can do, and I apologize to whatever ethnic group I have just now offended. Anyway, this novel is devastating. That's my one-word summary of this very hard-to-read book. Uh, and I don't mean it's devastating because it is hard to read. It's devastating because of the story, which makes struggling through it worth it. And what a story. In essence, it is an old woman waiting for her son to find her, which is devastating enough. But the reasons for it, the reasons, huh? wow. Now, ordinarily, any novel written with MFA-approved style gets my immediate and well-deserved thumbs down, because it is technique at the expense of story. And this has all the MFA-approved tropes. Switching tenses, switching viewpoint, Proust-like sentences. You know, there's a reason why there was only one Proust. Uh, some artful schematics and changes of, uh, of changes of indentation and fonts to indicate another genre, such as poetry, even song. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. You can just see the MFA faculty nodding in approval. But, unlike most MFA-generated novels, this is not technique in search of a story, but a story that lends itself well to device. Yes, I should pull out an eyeball for saying that, but it works. It just does. For example, one of the most powerful sections of the entire novel is a simple list. 9,000 names of deported Jews. And I tell you, the last 68 pages just blew me away. Read it. Old guy here. See you later.